right, let's go. Oh, <laughs> can't, forget, can't forget the checks, can't forget the checks. Okay, here we go. And we finally made it. All right, we just gotta stay flexible. I wasn't, I guess, I maybe I missed the boat on this, but I wasn't positive that every single track in the entire state was shut down. But it appears every single track is no longer uh, available for use at this point. Hopefully that changes sooner rather than later. But we made it, so, what, so I'm gonna pivot. Basically, I was gonna do 600 meter repeats on the track. Instead, I'm just gonna do um, basically 90 second uh, surges here on the Platte River Trail where I will be racing the DGR virtual race on Sunday. This section of the course I'm very familiar with but I figure you know it doesn't hurt to just familiarize myself a little bit more and I almost forgot so we are let's see we're uh, five uh, from Sunday four days out let's see when's it yeah about four days out from the race and I did make a vlog seven months ago I just looked it up I kind of spaced it it's uh, all about how to avoid sleepy legs in the taper. So rather than repeat myself right now, upper right hand corner, if you wanna go watch like how to make sure your legs are peppy and ready for that uh, fast turnover on race day, I made that vlog about seven months ago. You can go check that out. This workout today is part of that uh, process of keeping the legs nice and awake and ready to rock and roll on race day on Sunday. Okay, we're going for the warm up in the Pro Vision 4s and then I'll be back in about two and a half to three miles and toss on the next percent. Sound good, sound good. Oh man, flexibility, it's key. And I'm gonna talk about Arthur Lydiard, uh, the coach from New Zealand who talks about this process of uh, just being, well, being flexible but not being uh, completely uh, restrictive, I guess maybe is the word, uh, when you're trying to figure out the interval process for training, uh, just be, yeah, anyway, we'll get to that in the studio. Okay, let's lace up. And we're back, warm up in the books, all right, on to some strides, getting those legs nice and happy, snappy, 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 all right, let's go get these on. There we go, all right. So here's the deal. I did not feel great on the warm up. Like my legs were just a little, probably, I guess the best word is heavy. I'm guessing it's from the 15 miler last week. Uh, but then on the, on the strides, I started to feel a little better, just a little better. And then on the first interval, uh, they, the legs were like, uh-uh, this is not happening. Marathon in four or five days, this is not gonna go down, but, Patience with your workouts. I've said it before. Uh, by the third rep, by the, I was like, it was beautiful. I was feeling good. The legs were responding to uh, when I wanted to pick it up. I could. So anyway, just uh, putting that out there. Overall, pleased with the six by six hundred baby workout. All right. See you at the peel box.
we're back. We're back. All right, hold on. Let me just open up some things here. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Marlon and Ellen, Adam, Barbara, Brissy, George, Drew. Uh, and then there was another envelope that arrived. So there you have it. Thank you so, so much. Checks are coming into the P.O. box. Absolutely amazing. Uh, so because the checks are still coming in, I'm not going to get you a final number today, but I will on, I've, I've decided by Friday, okay? Friday of this week. So I'm going to let the checks come in for a couple more days and I'll get you the final number that we're going to be able to gift out on Friday. Sound good? Absolutely amazing. Um, and yes, okay, so oh yeah, shout out to Drew. This also showed up in the mail. Uh, shout out to the XC boys. I love it. So there you go. He made me a bib number for the marathon. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Handmade. That's amazing, Drew. Thank you for sending that as well. And yes, we're going to go inside and start making deposits into people's bank accounts today. So remember, those original nine people that were selected, so that's, if you do the math, that's $13,500. We have the money ready to go out. Um, and it's, it's now is the time. So we'll go inside and I'll take screenshots. Again, trust but verify just to show you, okay, now the money is going out to those original nine people. I believe I've received emails back from all nine. I'll have to double check, uh, but absolutely inspiring. And then Friday, I'll get you the update on who, on what the steps will be for the rest of the money uh, because we'll have that final total divided by $1,500. Sound good? Absolutely inspiring. Okay, let's move on real quick to Arthur Lydiard, the name that I mentioned at the car today. So he's a coach. Um, he's no longer with us, but I think he passed away in 2004. Um, or 2005, and he's from New Zealand, originally from New Zealand, and some people think his training philosophies are a little outdated or antiquated at this point, but I do not. He, he is the coach that I look to for guidance in my training philosophies, okay? Arthur Lydiard. And in this book, um, I don't have it out here, but uh, he talks about a story where a newspaper man showed up at the track to do an interview and to watch a workout with one of his athletes from New Zealand. I believe the name was Richard Taylor, and he was training for, he was a 10,000 meter national champion. Way, so this is back in like the 1960s, way back in the day. Um, maybe even before that for Richard Taylor, but I, I think in the 1960s. And basically the newspaper man turns to Lydiard and says, uh, what are the splits? So he was doing, Taylor was doing a 400 meter workout on the track. And he says, you know, what, what splits are, is this uh, athlete running? And Lydiard turns to the newspaper man and says, I have no clue. I don't know. And frankly, to me, it doesn't even matter because Lydiard was standing there and he could hear the breathing of Richard Taylor. He knew that Taylor was going into oxygen debt, was plunging the pH levels of his blood low enough just simply by listening to the breathing of Richard Taylor. And uh, I tell you that story because today uh, the track was closed, right, because of the coronavirus. And so I had to pivot to the, to the Platte River Trail, which worked out, actually is going to work out well because that's where I'm doing the, uh, the DGR Virtual Marathon on Sunday. And so I tell you that story because I think interval training, like my approach, and I think sometimes so much emphasis from coaches or training plans can be placed on interval training and really precise uh, distances and times that you have to hit to the point where athletes can feel very nervous and anxious about these workouts where they actually, they don't perform at their highest level or even become like almost, I, I remember um, back in the, yeah, I remember athletes almost getting sick and like almost throwing up because they felt so nervous about their workouts, whether it was 800 meter repeats or mile repeats or whatever the case may be. Um, so if, if a national champion, like a 10,000 meter national champion can go out on a track and do splits that don't even exist, meaning 
Arthur Lydiard wasn't even timing this ad, uh, this Richard Taylor, I think we can take that as a lesson. For me, I take it as a lesson that, you know what? Um, I'm going to go, like today, I ran 90 seconds for the first uh, interval. I ran almost two minutes for the second one. And I ran around a minute 45 for the last four. Why? Because I forgot to look at my watch. I wasn't on a track. I was just running, yes, you know, by feel. Okay, so that's why I'm always saying I go by feel. And I think tomorrow I'm going to break down how I believe I have been able to train myself over the past 18 months, okay, from a one hour and 12 minute half marathon to a one hour and seven minute half marathon, okay? So we'll break that down tomorrow if that sounds good. But I just wanted to share that story with you about Arthur Lydiard uh, to just give you a little bit of um, peace when it comes to interval training. Peace, all right? Have peace, I have peace out there. All right, everyone, uh, vlog is not over. We're going inside, making those deposits. I will get you the question of the day inside. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> can't, forget, can't forget the checks. Can't forget the checks. Okay, here we go. Okay, there we go. So I sent out as many as I could today. Uh, I already got an email back from Camille. She says, from the bottom of my heart, I truly want to say thank you. This has been such a blessing and it's the little blessings that are keeping us all going at this time. Camille, we are here for you. Here's the deal. I was only able to send out three payments today, two on PayPal, one on Venmo. Venmo was giving me trouble. I don't know if there's a limit that you can do per day. We shall see if Venmo ends up giving me more trouble. I might have to pivot just to PayPal, but, and then the international gifting, uh, again, I was denied through what was it? Uh, I was actually denied through PayPal for international to the UK. Anyway, stay tuned. So far, three successfully given, and I will continue to keep you updated on the moving numbers as this unfolds. At the end of the day, at least three people now have a little extra money to pay the rent and pay the mortgage and get through these crazy times. All right, everyone, you're the best question of the day. Completely off topic. I was thinking about this last night, actually. Uh, I don't know, I was just curious. Again, as we are all staying in our houses, in our apartments, there's a lot going on. We're not going out as much. So you might be streaming a lot more content at this point. Uh, so for me, so the question of the day, what are your top three streaming services that you're using right now? Um, or what are you watching right now that really has your attention, all right? So for me, all right, we love old school movies. So Foils War, uh, we were watching that on Prime. So we use YouTube, uh, Prime, and Disney Plus. Yeah, we decided to get some Disney Plus through these crazy times of a Foils War. It's about uh, World War II over in the UK. It's a great show. So anyway, uh, give some ideas because we're all kind of stuck inside right now as to what you're watching. Who knows? Maybe you're reading a book. That's good too. Many, many books. That's good too. All right, everyone. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. We are going to toss it back to uh, we'll toss it back to, oh my goodness, I don't even know. I don't even know. We'll just pick something and we'll stick it right there. Uh, maybe I'll go back into the archive to an old vlog from yesteryear. All right, everyone, there you go, there you go. Click on that one for some digging in. All right, everyone, see beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.